Hey, Periscope. I am, um, if you're on the replay, thanks for joining. If you're on live, thanks for joining. I decided to take a little bit off of social media today, but I guess I couldn't do a full day. <laughs> I wanted to, I can't see. Hello, if you're joining in there. Hi, Jarrett. I, uh, Janet, Jarrett. I wanted to just pull some weeds in my yard today. Because I've been wanting to do that for a couple weeks. And we're going to have a picnic next Saturday. So I thought, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time and come out here and pull the weeds from this part of my yard. And these are all the weeds that I pulled. And then I saw these big ones that I'm going to need to cut down. And I started to think, it's kind of like your life. You have these pretty plants growing. My azalea bush, my rhododendron bush, these beautiful hostas, and my poor little, my rose bush is about done for the year. And then I thought, I need something heavy duty to get rid of these weeds, and it made me think of the things in my life. I have, there we go. There's things I want to do. There's things that I want to put my energy to. There's people I want to put my energy to, and then there's tiny, these tiny little weeds start to just creep around, and I lose my focus. And then I, I'm so worried about what the weeds are doing to everything. I need to just pull those weeds out. Anything negative, if people are being negative to me, I'm just going to, you know, maybe not communicate with them as much anymore. If there's, if I get, I, I catch myself just scrolling on Facebook, and next thing I know it's like an hour. I don't want to just scroll on Facebook. I want to see what you guys are doing. And I want to help people. So I think I'm going to focus on what my weeds are. That are overtaking my beautiful things. Especially my people. And my goals. Does anybody struggle with that? Do you feel like you have weeds just taking over stuff that you want to do? And they just, the the weeds are getting bigger and bigger. I feel really good that I finally got these out of here. This is the pile that I... the pile of weeds that I'm going to have to... And that just came from this little spot right here. Except now there's these big things, so I, I need a heavy-duty tool to do that. To get those big ones out. So I'm guessing a heavy-duty tool for my life would be just remove the things that don't need to be there. Because I know there was a time years ago I would do everything. I volunteered for everything. I wouldn't say no to anything. But then my family suffered. And when I decided if it doesn't glorify God and it doesn't help my family, I'm just going to remove it from my life. So that's what I did. I started saying no a lot. And I felt more at peace. I seemed to get more accomplished. Um, My job right now, I work about 40, 50 hours a week. I can't really cut that weed yet, <laughs> but so my focus is helping people with health and wellness, but you still have to pay your bills. Um, yeah, I think I'm really going to focus on what I think my weeds are and, and remove them. I think right now it would be the TV. I don't really watch too much TV. I'm addicted to Big Brother for some reason. It's entertaining. Um, I don't know what else... TV and just scrolling on Facebook and just liking, 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 liking. I like a lot of stuff. I think I need to limit that time. If I could just do an hour a day total. And then I can focus on what, you know, helping people. And I love chatting with people on Facebook. I love chatting with people in real life. That's, I would like to be able to do that more in real life. Go out and meet you and have coffee and hear what you're doing and See if there's anything I can do to enhance your life at all. So what are you guys doing today? Anybody doing anything exciting today? Anybody else weeding out in the yard? My hair looks atrocious today. But I'm outside, so that's all good. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to, you know, it made me think of, I'm I'm pulling these weeds out, and all of a sudden it started to look really, really nice in the one spot. Then I saw the the big tree growing there, and I needed a heavier tool to move that. And I thought, these poor plants can't flourish with all these weeds around. And people are like that. You can't flourish if you have too many weeds. 
you know, fogging up your head and just trapping you in, in your life. So if you need, you know, to focus on your health, figure out what the weed is in there. Is it you drink too much coffee or you have too much sugar or too many grains? Do you want to exercise more? That's one of my goals too. I, I exercised for two weeks straight and then I traveled and I didn't exercise that week and then I didn't exercise this past week I came home. So I like to sleep, but sometimes I think that might be one of my overgrown weeds. I'd rather take a nap than go exercise. <laughs> I need to start uh, just making exercise important. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, and I'm going to go finish this up. And then I'm going to go in and do something productive. I think I'm going to make my own version of Chipotle bowls um, for my lunches for the week. That will make me feel accomplished. I don't really like to cook. That's probably one of my weeds, too. I'd rather just go run to Chipotle and grab something healthy to eat. All right. Well, I hope you're all having a good Sunday, and uh, I will talk to you soon. You can always head over to coachmo411.com to see what I'm doing. Sign up for my newsletter. All right. Peace out.